गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन टुडे अवर टॉपिक इज हाउ कैन वी ऑप्टेन डिफरेंट गैसेज फ्रॉम एयर गैस मीन्स इट इज अ स्टेट ऑफ मैटर इट इज अ स्टेट ऑफ मैटर इन विच अ सबस्टांस कैन फिल द कंटेनर completely neither it has fixed shape nor it has fixed volume and what is air it is a mixture of gases many gases are present in the air or mixed in the air for example oxygen nitrogen nitrogen is 78% oxygen is 21% and carbon dioxide is 0.03% and other gases also present in the air now air is a homogeneous mixture what does it mean it means that we can not see nitrogen present in air separate from oxygen we cannot see oxygen present in air separate from nitrogen even we can not distinguish different component by looking it so we can say that air is a homogeneous mixture because it does not have visible boundaries okay and can be separated by fractional distillation can be separated into its component we can get oxygen from air we can get uh, nitrogen we can get uh, argon we can get different gases or different components from air by using fractional distillation it is a method to separate two or more than two miscible liquids but their difference in boiling point should be less than 25 degree celsius or 25 kelvin if the difference is more than 25 degree celsius then we use simple distillation method but in case of air to obtain different gases from air we use fractional distillation the flow diagram shows the step steps of the process means first we have to convert air into liquid air by increasing pressure and decreasing temperature at least around minus 140 degree celsius to minus 200 degree celsius we need this much temperature to change air into liquid air means approx this temperature we can change air into liquid air now we get liquid air and all the gases are present in the air in the form of liquid and then we slowly warm it the gas which has low lower a lowest boiling point it first evaporates similar like uh, distillation and then we get different gases here uh boiling points are written oxygen boiling point is minus 183 degree celsius argon boiling point is minus 186 degree celsius and nitrogen boiling point is minus 196 degree celsius percentage air by volume it means that how much amount of air present in our air 21% is oxygen and 0.9% argon 78% aprox is nitrogen and 0.03% is carbon dioxide okay uh, then if we want oxygen from air we have to separate out all the other gases pre- present in the air why because oxygen boiling point is more than the other gases so first we get other gases and after then when all the gases separate out then we will get oxygen gas here i can make you understand suppose this is a number line 
and here zero like one two three this increasing and this side decrease like minus one okay minus two minus three minus one is bigger than minus three okay similarly when we i saw these boiling point of these gas is on number line like zero then first is minus 183 then minus 186 and then minus 196 means it is highest and then argon boiling point is first oxygen boiling point is greater and then argon and then nitrogen means nitrogen having the lowest boiling point among these three gases and then argon and oxygen boiling point is more than argon and nitrogen so first we get these gases and after uh, we separate out these gases we will get oxygen because oxygen boiling point is higher than argon and nitrogen okay i think this point you will understand you understood now the air is compressed by increasing the pressure and is then cooled by increase decreasing the temperature to get liquid this this step is we convert air into liquid air and i already explained this first we convert or change air into liquid air how how we change by compress it means increasing pressure and decreasing temperature and approx 140 degree celsius to minus 200 degree minus 140 to minus 200 degree celsius we need this liquid air is allowed to warm up slowly in fractional distillation column where gases get separated at different heights depending upon their boiling point okay now i i just exp i will explain this diagram and i hope that you will understand no problem theek hai first there are two questions are given arrange the gases present in air in increasing order of their boiling point to so first boiling point nitrogen minus 196 and then argon boiling point is 186 and then oxygen Minus one eighty three means the boiling point. We have arranged the boiling point in increasing order. Oxygen boiling point is more than argon and nitrogen, and the lower boiling point is of nitrogen. Means first when we warm it, warm the liquid air. First nitrogen gas just evaporate and cool. Then we will get nitrogen first. And the second question is. which gas forms the liquid first the answer is nitrogen because its boiling point is less than argon and oxygen so first nitrogen gas evaporate or change from liquid form to vapor then condenses and when then we will get nitrogen first the answer is nitrogen first part answer is first nitrogen then argon and oxygen and second part answer is nitrogen okay now i will explain the full topic with the help of this diagram or the picture yes first there is a filter means first air pass through this filter okay to remove impurities like dust suppose there is a air in air gases are present but there is water vapors also and the dust particles means impurities are there there are some impurities to remove these impurities first we pass air through this filter paper okay now this air is compressed how the air is compressed there is a piston na the piston move i'll explain 
the pistons the pistons move like this and air pass from these pistons and air is compressed now the compressed air pass and then and around how much the temperature then freezing point you know uh, then pass it in the freezing unit this is the freezing unit now the cold water goes from bottom to top why to fill this completely if we pass uh, the water from top to bottom is top to bottom then it cannot be fill completely so it is better to pass the water from down to top okay then this hot air passes in the freezing unit this is the freezing unit okay i just make it more clear the air is passes in this freezing unit okay not inside and then why because in the freezing point we just passes the freezing cold water why to reduce the temperature and how much temperature we want we need minus 200 degree celsius we freeze it now and here one thing you just you should remember that like in this tube there is water okay and there is air and the water is not mixed with air why because because the air is passed through this way and the water passed through this way okay there are two separate columns then the next point is now air is free sorry now air passes through separator this is the separator now air compressed air passes through the separator when air passes through the separator then we will get carbon dioxide in the solid form or in the dry ice okay we will get carbon dioxide here now air is free from carbon dioxide so first we will get carbon dioxide now air is forced to pass in expansion jet okay where it is liquefied means here the air is in the liquid state now it is slowly warm up now uh, we slowly warm up the air when we warm up okay uh, then nitrogen first boil because nitrogen boiling point is 196 degree now nitrogen starts boiling up in nitrogen start boiling up and separate it and then argon which boiling point is 196 degree celsius minus 1 186 degree celsius then argon is separated or argon boils and then it is collected the then after all the gases separate out what we get oxygen because oxygen has the higher boiling point and it is left behind and collected separately so this is the process how we separate the components of air again i am telling first impure air passes through the filter now it becomes pure air the pure air is passed in the uh, it is compressed with the help of these pistons the compressed air and then passes into the freezing cold unit or freezing unit where cold water is passed okay to reduce the temperature up to minus 200 degree celsius then this cold compressed air pass in the separator here carbon dioxide is separated out as a dry ice because when we compress carbon dioxide then it is converted into solid state or in the dry ice okay then 
नाउ द एयर इज फ्री फ्रॉम कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इन एक्सपेंशन जेड द एयर इज इन द लिक्विड स्टेट एंड देन वी स्लोली वॉर्म इट फर्स्ट नाइट्रोजन इवेपरेट कंडेंस इज एट गेट सेपरेटेड एंड देन आर्गन एंड फाइनली वी गेट ऑक्सीजन दिस इज द प्रोसेस हाउ वी सेपरेट ऑल द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ एयर आई होप दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड द टॉपिक इफ एनी डाउट यू आर हैविंग एनी क्वेरी देन यू कैन आस्क मी यू कैन कमेंट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स okay thank you for watching my video if uh, you have not subscribe my channel please subscribe and uh, uh, like also because it motivate us to make more videos and put more efforts thank you